So the greatest thing literally just happened to me in the history of running Facebook ads. I was talking to a Facebook support rep and they actually called me. Like, when does that even ever happen in the Facebook world? Like, who, when would a Facebook rep call you? This is insane. And to top it off, he gave me the best freaking advice that anyone's ever given me in my life, on Facebook at least. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ecom Street, the best channel for e-commerce content. You guys aren't gonna believe what I have for you today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the gray verified button on Facebook so that you're able to verify your business and get it running again. So, have you guys ever tried to verify your business on Facebook? And I'm not talking about like the blue check verification. I'm talking about like actually verifying your business manager on Facebook. There was something new that recently Facebook just put out and is that you actually weren't able to verify your business unless you were already an established brand. And they had this option available so that you can submit your business document and other documents that you have such as business licenses, driver's license, photo ID, all that kind of stuff. And it would actually allow you to have a better site on Facebook's end so that when you're running ads, they may not penalize you as much. Whereas if you don't have a verified business and a lot of people have been complaining about this because you know, you want to do everything you can in your power to make sure that your ads don't get uh, rejected or your page doesn't get disabled. And now I was able to talk to a Facebook rep and they said that there's this really cool and unique way that you can actually get your business verified. And I had no idea idea what the hell this guy was talking about. I've verified businesses in the past and you know unfortunately that with this brand that we're running right now we've run into business manager issues like everyone has. We couldn't verify this BM for whatever reason and he just said literally right now that you could verify this BM using this cool and unique trick and I'm like bet. I was talking to this guy on the phone. I was literally talking to this guy and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. So you'll actually never believe how you would do this. This is actually crazy. Like I never thought in my lifetime that this would be the way to verify your business. So the first step you're going to do is actually go on to the developer website of Facebook. That is developers.facebook.com. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can actually use that. In the top right hand corner of the developer website, you're going to see a thing called my apps. You're going to want to create an app and make sure that they select the right business manager to attach to. You want to make sure whatever app you're creating matches to the corresponding business now guys this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to create an app this is just like a dummy app so that facebook thinks you have an app in progress when really you're not and this is actually completely legal like the facebook rep was telling me this from facebook guys he's a really cool guy i gave him five stars obviously because he's doing amazing once you're done doing all that you should be able to see that the gray button isn't grayed out anymore. You can literally verify your business documents. And now the next steps from there, you basically just want to go to the, the verify button. It's going to ask you a couple questions and information about your business, such as your address, your phone number, the people involved. And then if you do have articles of incorporation or any of those kind of documents that revolve uh, a business setup, could be a business license, driver's license, any of that, any of those uh, required documents that you need to set up a business, Facebook will ask you for those things and you submit them using the following Dropbox thing. It's an upload and you just submit the documents that way and you're pretty much set guys. And again, the benefits of doing so is that Facebook will see that your business is verified and actually gives you better traction on your ads. And as well as, you know, just in case if you have, ever have any BM bans or um, ad account deactivations, page deactivations, this will ensure that this will happen a lot less since that Facebook sees that this is a registered business. It's not just like a regular drop shipping store or like a, you know, a business that doesn't really sell as well uh, on Facebook, you know, like it's a legit verified business that Facebook can actually see. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, very quick and easy, very simple, but I feel like it's going to help a lot of people because I don't think a lot of people are even aware that you can do this on Facebook. I think that it's kind of like a hidden thing. Um, and again, you do need to have business documents required for this before you even start the process. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you know, faking any of the information on Facebook there. But then again, guys, this will help you a lot. Make sure you have the proper documents that you need to submit and Facebook will do you very well. It should work. Uh, it has worked for us. Make sure to give this video a like or a subscribe. This will help us and it will boost the algorithm for YouTube so that they can see this video and hopefully share this knowledge with everyone else. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.